Now this is one with plank, right? So you could use this for several reasons. You could, for example, literally build piece by piece. But the problem with this is that there, are, you're going to have to redo this whole process for a new kind of wood plank, right? Which is too time consuming. So how do you make several wood planks onto one? Simple as it is. We're going to do this, a similar method over here on this one. So we're going to be working on this one here now. So go back to uh, edit mode and we're going to create cuts. Control R, right? I'm going to create cuts, right click to deselect, right uh, more, left click, and then right click. So now we have this wood plank, this kind of you know block. So yeah, I don't like, okay, uh, I'm going to make less cuts actually. Okay, there you go. This looks more like several wood planks in each place. We just need to deform them to make it look better like a wood plank. Right? You're going to need a different mesh for that one though. I mean texture. Uh, go back to this uh, button over here so you can see through. Widen your um, brush a little bigger and just go ahead and start deforming. You know, forward and backward. And just go ahead and select these two over here. And just resize things the way you want to resize. You know, very important. It's um, it looks a little humanish because it's not perfect. If it's perfect, that means you have another purpose to keep it perfect. Then that's your choice. It's whatever you're looking for. To be honest, you're here for a reason. You want to find a new method or find something that would uh, fulfill what you're looking for. Now you probably want to. Give, let these go uh, up above as well. So, for example, we're going to select a few one of these, just make them go up, and another ones of these, uh, make it go down. So it's not f it's f it's not flat either, you know. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and right click, uh, go to object mode, and remove this material and create a new one. Go to color and select image, open. Find the directory. I'm gonna actually pick another another um, another texture. So, actually, go ahead and look for, for example, wood planks. Yeah. So floor dark. I'm gonna go ahead and take dark. Dark looks nice. Uh, let's check out this one. This is high quality. That's a pretty good one. Okay, I'm gonna save this one to forest. Blank two. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the directory, thumbnail, and dark that plank two. There it is. Great. Now press tab. So we're in this mode now, okay? I'm gonna repeat the same thing. Open this, go to UV, image editor, and then see you have the choice between forest plank and forest plank two. If you pick this one, okay which is the previous one, it's not going to show you this one over here. You know why? Because the material assigned for this uh, mesh is this texture, which is the other one. Right? It's this one. So I'm going to show you what I mean. This A, okay, U, unwrap, and look, it's not the same texture because you've assigned it to that one. Right? Does it make sense? I hope it does. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and yeah now and this doesn't look good at all so you could um, there is plenty of reasons to why this is the case because we're selecting all of it and you see how deformed it is because we've deformed it it's not flat anymore it's going to give you different result so we're going to go ahead all right and uh, control z this and go back to square one right okay we're back to square one now best way for this to uh, uv map it is actually by going over here and we're going to select the faces one by one because um, this doesn't work just the way it, it, it uh, we would want it to work. So we have these faces. Press U. There you go. This looks much better, but this is not the positioning I want. For example, so I'm going to go ahead over here, press R, and just move it to 90 degrees. Simple as it is. I'm going to select these faces. U. R90. And uh, as you can see, R sorry, 90. 
as you can see over here these are smaller than these right so go ahead reselect them press S go smaller and you can just resize them if you look out zoom out and go to object mode this doesn't look too bad to be honest it looks okay now this is how I, I would my method for making um, several wood planks uh, deformed you know make it look a little old but this is not too realistic either if you want to make it more look uh, look more realistic you're gonna have to for example go on each plank and then literally yes unwrap it which is another good method to be honest but you're gonna have to work on it um, uh, piece by piece which is uh, worth the inv invest investment to be honest it's worth investing your time in so this is our wood planks in plural so we've done these two up till now so we have the plural and we have the one <laughs>